Deep within the mysterious reaches of the inaccessible Honduran rainforests lies a legend, La Ciudad Blanca, or the White City. Nestled in the depths of Honduras, amidst dense and untouched rainforests, we speak today of a city whose existence has yet to be fully proven. The legend of La Ciudad Blanca has been told for centuries, originating from ancient times. Yet, the origins of this mysterious city are intertwined not only with myths, but also with real historical events. The roots of the legend trace back to the long and perilous journeys made by Spanish conquistadors to the New World. These adventurers, who came to explore new continents, encountered incredible stories told by the indigenous peoples. Among these tales, the idea of a mysterious city filled with gold stood out. In 1526, the renowned conquistador Hernán Cortés, during his time in Honduras, listened to rumors from the local people. These stories about a white city filled with riches excited Spanish nobles and even King Charles V. In a letter to the king, Cortés mentioned his intention to search for this legendary city. However, he could never definitively pinpoint its location and many expeditions embarked with this hope. The narratives of the indigenous people played a critical role in these explorations. Native guides spoke of a city hidden deep within the forest while also emphasizing that these places were sacred and dangerous. These legends sparked both great curiosity and fear among the Spaniards. Among the indigenous peoples, there is a widespread belief that the White City, or La Ciudad Blanca, is connected to the gods. This region is considered sacred by many native tribes. For instance, some indigenous narratives describe the White City as the home of the dragon god. This god symbolizes both destructive and creative powers, and it is believed that the city is imbued with these forces. According to the legends, the White City was once the center of a great civilization. This civilization vanished suddenly for unknown reasons, leaving behind only this mysterious city. The indigenous people associate the disappearance of this civilization with various supernatural events. There are numerous theories concerning La Ciudad Blanca, or the White City. One of the most prevalent theories is that La Ciudad Blanca was part of a lost civilization. This civilization is often depicted as contemporaneous with or predating the major civilizations of the Maya or Aztecs, possibly being a lesser known culture. Archaeologists and historians are examining archaeological remains in the region in search of evidence to support this theory. Some speculative theories link La Ciudad Blanca with the legendary Atlantis. These theories suggest that the city could have been a colony of Atlantis or part of a similar civilization. This connection is often considered metaphorical or symbolic and is not directly supported by archaeological evidence. Another theory suggests that the city could have been formed or destroyed due to natural events. For instance, the city could have been wiped off the map by a major flood or volcanic activity. Such natural disasters are potent factors that could lead to the sudden disappearance of ancient cities. Theories based on indigenous beliefs propose that La Ciudad Blanca was not just a city, but also a significant religious or spiritual center. This theory argues that the city played a central role in various rituals and religious ceremonies. Hence, it was considered sacred. Some environmental approaches suggest that the legends of La Ciudad Blanca might serve as a self-preservation mechanism for the forest. According to this theory, the legends and stories could be a defensive strategy of the forest to protect itself from external interferences as these mystic tales attract attention while also adding an element of fear and respect. Discoveries made using modern technology have provided concrete evidence that La Ciudad Blanca might indeed exist. For example, scans using LiDAR, light detection and ranging technology, 
have revealed remnants of ancient structures beneath the forest canopy. In the early 20th century, the legend of La Ciudad Blanca began to gain popularity in the Western world. Adventurers, archaeologists, and even writers flocked to Honduras in search of this mysterious city. In the 1940s, American explorer Theodore Maud claimed to have made significant discoveries deep within the forest. Maud's stories received widespread attention in the international press, further magnifying the legend. During the Cold War, political instability in Honduras and its surrounding areas made such explorations difficult. In this period, the legend was somewhat forgotten, though the stories and beliefs continued to live on among the local people. By the 21st century, modern technology gave new dimensions to the legend of La Ciudad Blanca. LiDAR technology began to provide concrete evidence of the city's possible existence by mapping structures and settlements beneath the forest canopy. These discoveries sparked significant interest both in the scientific community and popular culture. Today, La Ciudad Blanca is not only a legend, but also a subject of scientific curiosity. The connections between the natural habitat surrounding this mysterious city and the culture of the people living there cannot be overlooked. Mosquitia is an isolated region, surrounded by vast and inaccessible rainforests. The people here have lived in harmony with this dense natural environment for centuries. Their way of life is based on preserving nature and utilizing it in a sustainable manner. The cultural heritage of the Mosquitia people is enriched with legends and myths. Stories related to La Ciudad Blanca are not just narratives of the past for these communities, but also a source of identity and belonging. The city is considered both a historical heritage and a sacred site. The protection of the area where the White City is located is of great importance to the local people. This region is seen not only for its archaeological values, but also as an area that must be preserved for its biodiversity. The local communities are aware of both the cultural and environmental significance of this area and strive to pass it on to future generations. Could there be connections between the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve, located in the heart of Honduras and host to many stories just like La Ciudad Blanca and La Ciudad Blanca itself? Let's explore the links between these two unique regions and their connections to ancient civilizations. The Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve is a region filled with vast rainforests, diverse wildlife and rivers. The legends of La Ciudad Blanca also take place in such dense forested areas. Both areas are full of challenging natural conditions and unexplored territories, making them major attractions for archaeologists and adventurers. Rio Platano may have once hosted ancient civilizations. The legends of the existence of La Ciudad Blanca also bear traces of these ancient communities. By preserving the biological and cultural heritage of the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve, it helps pass down such ancient stories and legends to future generations. Similarly, the protection and research of La Ciudad Blanca contribute to understanding the historical and cultural values of this area. While there is no direct historical or archaeological evidence supporting a specific connection between the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve and La Ciudad Blanca, the White City, there are cultural and environmental similarities between the two. As the legend of La Ciudad Blanca rises from the depths of Honduras' rainforests, it draws our attention not only to the mysteries of ancient worlds, but also to the importance of preserving cultural heritage and biodiversity. La Ciudad Blanca is not just a subject of archaeological curiosity, but also continues to exist as a part of the spirit and culture of this region. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.